Hey everyone, this is Some Nerdy Guy back again with another video. I uh, just wanted to make a disclaimer part before the actual video starts. Um, so back in like August, sometime during the summertime, I believe it was August, um, I went down to Columbus to visit my friend and his fiance and we went game hunting. And so I took my, obviously took my phone with me, duh. <laughs> but uh, I decided to film some of the, uh, the inside of some of the stores kind of just kind of while I was browsing. I didn't film a whole lot, not as much as I wanted to, because, you know, I wasn't thinking about it a lot of the time. I'm just looking at stuff. And then by the time we left, like, oh, I should have filmed that spot where we found or where we saw this and that. Um, but I did have some pickups and uh, I'm probably going to try to do a thing where I like show some footage, show what I picked up from that spot, show some footage, show what I pick up from that spot. Um, but yeah. So anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully I'll do more stuff like this in the future with uh, game stores that are in my own area. I know a lot of gaming, like collecting YouTubers do this, so it could be kind of redundant or people get kind of tired of it. But hopefully, um, since a lot of people seem to enjoy what I pick up, it would, they, maybe you guys would like to see like where I go and what the places look like too. So if you want me to continue doing videos this way, please let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to do it rather than just having regular pickup videos because I know sometimes they can be a little boring. So yeah, and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, this is Some Nerdy Guy back again with another video. Today's video is something a little different, something I don't typically do. I uh, just wanted to try something different, so we're going to go for it. Um, I'm going to drive down to Columbus, Ohio to see my friend, and I'm going to check out some game stores down there, see if I find anything good. I thought maybe it'd be kind of cool to make a video about that and kind of show some of the footage, some of the places I go, show the stuff I find, if I pick up anything, which I probably will because I spend money all freaking time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is just a little intro I wanted to do just to kind of, you know, start this thing off. So I will cut it here and bring it back to wherever I go next. Okay, so that first store that we went to is called Play It Games. There's actually three locations that we went to, and I believe those are the only three that there are down there. Um, all have like equally, uh, equally, like distributed amount of stuff. I didn't, what I'm trying to say, like they all had good stuff. Like, you know, sometimes if you have a store, like a GameStop, like not all GameStops are the same. And there's usually one that's like really, really good that gets all the good stuff. And then there's ones that are kind of like, and eh, they just mostly get Madden games and whatever. Every single one of these game stores had awesome stuff, which you'll see in some of the footage. Um, I wish I would have filmed more uh, just like, wow, look at that game. Look at this game. I can't believe they have stuff at every single one of these stores. Um, but yeah, the just, I ended up getting some some pretty good stuff. One of the games I'm going to wait until the end of the video to show because I got it the last day I was there. Um, I saw it the first, the, the first day. It was the one that was closest uh, to his house. So um, uh, I saw it there and I was like, I really want it, but I don't want to blow all my money the first day I'm down here. So 
I'm gonna wait. And sure enough, on the last day I was there, I'm like, all right, I'm buying it. <laughs> so, um, but I ended up getting two games the first the first day. And uh, the first game being Cyber Speedway on the Sega Saturn. So uh, basically I got this because it was the cheapest not sports title Sega Saturn game that was there. And I've really been wanting to beef up my Saturn collection a little bit because I don't really have a whole lot of games. I think I only have like four. So, uh, you know, it's just a, an arcade racing game, kind of like Wipeout. Uh, it's a little clunky, not fully fleshed out, but that's okay. It's still pretty fun. Uh, I enjoyed what I've played of it so far. And then this other game, which is a pretty heavy hitter. It's actually for the Xbox 360, which I don't really get a whole but a lot of Xbox games ever. Uh, but this one is uh, exclusive, and it is an RPG, a JRPG. Uh, and that is Cold Sep Saga for Xbox 360, only for Xbox. Uh, like I said, there's just not a whole lot of JRPGs that are exclusive to any of the Xbox consoles. And 360 just happens to be my favorite because that's the one I grew up playing. I didn't really have the original Xbox. Uh, my cousins had a 360, and then I eventually got my own, and that was like my main console for the longest time. I really wish I would have known about these uh, games back then because I just didn't. I never saw them. Uh, but this one is a really cool game. It is a uh, strategy RPG that's like a board game. So it's kind of like Fire Emblem in a way where you have all your characters set out on the board, but the combat is uh, a trading card game. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's one other JRPG that I'm really looking for for the 360, and that is Operation Darkness. It's an Atlas title. It's a lot like um, Valkyria Chronicles, I believe. It's like it's also kind of like a Fire Emblem game. It's a strategy RPG, but like uh, almost like XCOM in a way. But uh, any of those games, they're all in the same genre. But it's a, it's a JRPG, and the art style just looks really cool. The characters look cool. And uh, it's just a, a rare game, and I would like to have it if I can find it. This guy was 50 bucks, not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have this. I'm going to try to hunt down at least... I don't know how many JRPGs there are on the Xbox 360, to be honest with you, but I know it's not many, so I would like to at least try to get all of those if it's a relatively small collection, even though they're probably expensive, but that's okay. Um... One day I'll probably try to get them. Who knows? But uh, yeah, on to the next one. Okay, so that next location that we went to, this was the, the next day after, because uh, the first day I was down there, I got down there a little late in the afternoon, so um, some of the places down there closed kind of early, so we didn't have a chance to check out every store first day, so this was the second day I was down there, and um, they had so much stuff, so much just complete in box. I don't remember in the footage, because I'm like filming this, like scatter, I'm like scatterbrained, but I, they had a bunch of complete in box N64 stuff. Um, just a lot of heavy hitter titles, a lot of PS2 stuff. Uh, there was a copy of Earthbound, uh, just crazy, crazy stuff. Um, but I didn't, I didn't get a whole lot. I didn't, I didn't want to spend too much, like trying to, trying to do better about that. Uh, just like getting heavy hitter games. I got one that I will show at the end of the video, like I had already said. Um, but I did find two pretty cool games, uh, on the cheap. Uh, the first one is Spectrobes Beyond the Portals. This was the first DS game I ever had as a kid. Uh, this and Mario Kart. And uh, it, I don't know. It was a unique game at the time for me. It's like a Pokemon game. Collect monsters. And uh, you, the way you get them is really cool. I believe it's more like 
fossil fighter if I had to say the Pokemon because you like have to dig them out of you can kind of see there you have to like dig them out of their out of the stone in the ground and stuff like that and you have to like pick it a certain way or you'll like do damage to it and stuff like that and there's like really powerful ones. there's like you get multiple I, just like Pokemon you can get like multiples of the same ones and each one will have like a different uh, power level and things like that I don't know it's a cool game it was only 10 bucks and I just wanted to have it back because I got rid of mine for some reason and I don't remember why but there is that so Spectrobes and then this other game, I would have rather had the Dreamcast version, but uh, I want to go for more GameCube stuff. So I ended up getting the GameCube version. That is Crazy Taxi. Uh, it's a really fun Sega arcade game. You're just driving around. And I mean, I don't really have to explain Crazy Taxi to anybody. If you know it, you've played it probably. Um, it's a really cool game. It's cool because it's fun and it's good because it's fun and it's fun because it's good. <laughs> and then it's a little inside joke uh, with this same friend and I of another fellow YouTuber that did a really poor review <laughs> of Crazy Taxi only said it was good, fun because it's good and good because it's fun. And that was the only thing they had to say, but it was one of their favorite games of all time. So <laughs> there is that. Um, yeah, those were the only two things that I picked up game-wise. I guess I can show this too. Um, I had it sitting here just in case I wanted to show it. Uh, it's not game-related, but it is nerd-related. <laughs> it is a Marvel Legends Venom figure. I had been looking for this guy for a while. I would see him at like comic conventions and things like that, but people just had him priced way too high. I just wasn't really wanting to pay that much for him. Uh, but they had this guy priced at 50 and they gave it to me for 40 because they had it sitting there for so long, which I'm kind of surprised by because Venom's a really popular character. Uh, and he's one of my, he's my favorite Spider-Man villain. So yeah, he looks really, really cool. Badass. Um, as you can kind of see right there, I do collect a lot of the Marvel figures, which I've mentioned before in uh, like my Power Ranger, Jason David Frank video. I had mentioned that I collect a lot of other stuff. Um, Marvel stuff is one of them. Uh, kind of slowed down on that, but you know. Anyways, I want to keep rambling. On to the next place. Okay, so that was all the footage that I've shot for the weekend that I was down there. And I didn't get anything else from any of the other locations. Uh, but like I said, the last day I was there, I went back to the first one that we went to the first day I was down there because there was a game that they had priced pretty decently, uh, not too high, kind of middle of the road price. And I was like, well, um, it's a Saturn game. I was like, I'm trying to beef up the Saturn collection a little bit. I'd like to get like one good game for the Saturn. Uh, and I was like, if I buy it here, it's already a pretty good price. 
don't have to pay for shipping. Um, so I was like, man, maybe I should get that. And I, I had plenty of money left over to get it. So race back there before I had to leave. And I walked in there and told the guy, I was like, hey, I really want that game. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's a really cool one. He's like, you have a, like we had a whole conversation about the Saturn. Um, he's like, yeah, I don't talk to a lot of people that have the Saturn. I really like it. And I was like, yeah, me too. Uh, I'm more new to it and everything. I've had it for a while, but I haven't really gotten into collecting for it because I know how expensive it is. So uh, I have like some Japanese imports and things like that. I ended up getting the action replay for it so I could do that. Um, but I was really wanting to get some good Saturn stuff. So he actually knocked off $20 of the tag price on this, which was really nice of him to do that. He said that they had been sitting on it for a while too, which seems to be the running thing in uh, in this this game company's chain. Uh, if they've had something sitting on the shelf, the most of the workers there are pretty generous and just be like, oh yeah, I'll knock a couple bucks off. We've had that sitting around for a while, which is really cool because a lot of stores don't normally do that unless you like haggle with them or like ask for a discount, which I usually, I typically don't do that. So uh, it was really nice of him to do that for me. So you're probably wondering what it is. Uh, <laughs> I've been sitting here bullshitting about it and I haven't showed it yet, but uh, here it is. Sonic R for the Sega Saturn. Uh, they had it priced at, I believe, 120 and he gave it to me for 100 bucks even, um, plus tax. But, you know, that's a lot better than paying tax and shipping and paying more than that on eBay. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm a huge Sonic fan, so it's nice to have um, another Sonic game to the collection that I didn't already have. I will say this now, this game is bad. <laughs> this game is bad. I don't like this game, <laughs> particularly. But, like I said, for collecting purposes, I really, really wanted to have this. So, uh, just, you know, the nostalgia. I, obviously, I'm not nostalgic for Sega Saturn. I wasn't around when Sega Saturn was around. But just the nostalgia of Sonic and just seeing him in his classic, uh, you know, his classic design and everything. And just, like, the early 3D artwork always gets me. Like, the same with Super Mario 64. It's, like, my favorite like time frame of Mar like favorite era of Mario same with Sonic more so Sonic Adventure but I really like this too uh and I do I have played this before owning it uh I have the Sonic Gems collection which this is on there uh I used to always be freaked out by the Tails doll too that was like one of the unlockable characters you can get was the Tails doll and everybody always made him like super creepy online. I used to be like in Sonic groups and stuff like that. And people would talk about the Tails doll and how he was haunted and like creepy stuff. And I was like afraid of it. <laughs> and I didn't know he was from an actual game. I thought it was like a made up thing from the community. But no, he's in this game. He's an unlockable character. But yeah, very nice addition to the Sega Saturn collection. Hopefully someday I will get more Sega Saturn games but I have to like take out a freaking loan or something to get it because uh, any of the RPGs on the Saturn are stupid expensive. I have one of them, uh, but it isn't complete. It's missing a manual. Maybe I'll do like a little Saturn collection video one of these days because I don't have very many games, but that'll at least give me time to just talk about each one because I don't have very many. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Those are all my pickups from when I was in Columbus with my buddy. And yeah, so hopefully I will do more videos like this showing the store. Maybe I'll go more in depth, show like each section, maybe try to do like a like a voice over thing, like talking about the store while I was there kind of thing, instead of just having music playing over it randomly and then cutting back to this. Um, this was just done so long ago that I didn't, I, this is the only way I really wanted to do, or I could do it now. Um, cause I don't, my memory is awful. So I don't remember like every little thing that happened cause it was already so long ago. If it was fresh in my mind and I did this, if I would have done this, like right when I had come home that weekend, I probably could have done that, but, uh, no, <laughs> I'm just an idiot. So next time, next time we'll do something like that. So anyways, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until the next one, see ya.